After discovering that it only takes 2,500 steps to literally walk the 7,000 steps up the highest mountain in Skyrim, people kept telling me two things. The game world of Skyrim is majorly scaled down from the lore of the game, and that I should do this challenge again with an inclined treadmill. So why not combine the two? Can I make the 7,000 steps actually take 7,000 steps? Let's find out. First of all, I'm using an app called StepL to make this all possible. Basically, with the app, you put your phone in your pocket and the app is connected to your computer. And when you walk in place, you walk in the game. Link in the description. To give some context, there's a path up the highest mountain in Skyrim called the 7,000 Steps. The assumption is that there are 7,000 stair steps to get to where the Wizards of Waverly Place hang out at a place called High Hrothgar. But there aren't actually 7,000 steps. There's only like 700 something steps in the game. The next logical conclusion is that the Skyrim game world is roughly one tenth of the size that it should be in the lore. So there are two things I need to do to set up this challenge. One, make the world size as accurate as possible, and two, incline my treadmill as accurately as possible. Well, I can't exactly scale up the game world super easily, so the next best thing is to scale myself down, which is fairly simple, except for a couple of things. First, you can't use the normal game's scale down command because it majorly slows down the animations of the characters and you end up taking exactly the same amount of steps for a given distance, which would mess up the step count. So that won't work. To get around this, I'm using three mods that make it so I can be as small as possible without messing up the walking animations. Link in the description. First, I'm using the mod Fairy Races, the sprite race version specifically. It's the smallest race mod that I could find. Secondly, I'm using Player Size Adjuster to shrink down to 70% of my current height as a sprite. Thirdly, I'm using Race Menu to shrink myself even more to 25% of my current height. Since some stats, like Strength, are scaled with Height, I'll need to activate God Mode so I don't have to worry about being over-encumbered. At this point, I'm accurately scaled down to about one-tenth of my size, but I'm too small for the game to work properly. Since speed is scaled with size, the game doesn't allow me to walk at one-tenth of my normal speed. Based on my testing, the smallest I can get without messing up the walking animation is roughly 35% of my normal height. So once I'm tiny, after all the mods, I do a player.setscale3.5, so I'm a little bit bigger. I also had to use a fourth mod, the third person camera overhaul, since I wanted to do this in third person. And I needed to basically move my camera down as much as possible since I'm tiny. And I made my head twice as big because I thought that'd be funny. And so that is how I scaled myself down, as much as the game would allow, without messing up walking animations. Yeah, look how tiny I am compared to these guys. <laughs> so small. It's not quite a one-tenth scale, but it's much closer. Additionally, let's tackle the incline of the mountain so I can accurately set up my treadmill. I took this screenshot of the first step of the mountain. Ignore the steps immediately after this one, just don't worry about them, don't don't look at them. I used the Windows Screenshot Protractor tool, which I didn't even know was a thing, and figured out that the incline of the mountain on the first step is roughly 23 degrees. So I spent some time trying to figure out how high I could incline my treadmill without just sliding down to the bottom of it. And unfortunately, I was only able to incline it about 11 degrees with some bed risers. So this isn't as accurate as it can be, but it's as accurate as I'm able to make it for this challenge. But it was still tough, okay? I was, I was still like super sweaty at the end. At this point, I was curious if all these changes would make it so that it would actually take 7,000 steps to at least get to High Hrothgar, which from my experience is about 75% of the way to the tippy top of the mountain. Most of these Skyrim challenges that I've done have involved just walking in place, so it was kind of fun to actually get a decent workout, at least at first. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I ain't messing with the Frost Troll up here. So I turned off AI detection because there's just there's just no way. So as I kept hiking up, I realized I probably wasn't going to get to 7,000 steps once I got to High Hrothgar. But that's okay. I couldn't quite get it to do 7,000 steps. I did pretty close. We're going to keep walking up and see if I can hit 7,000 when I get to the top of the mountain. Like I said, there's more mountain and more steps to climb beyond the physical building of High Hrothgar. So, arguably, the 7,000 steps could still be all the way up the mountain. Maybe it was just a bad case of telephone and they forgot about the extra steps. For this save file, I didn't have the clear skies shout yet to get rid of the wind, so I just cheaply turned off collisions. Eh, it worked well enough for this challenge. I continued trudging my way up the mountain, and honestly, my legs were getting pretty tired. 
I was pretty sure that I could make it the whole way, but like, not completely sure. I was really banking off the fact that there's not that much more mountain beyond this point. So, uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like these weird fitness gaming challenges. Once I hit 7,000 steps, my legs were burning, but for the sake of the challenge, I had to keep going. I was really hoping that I wouldn't hit more than like 8,000 steps, you know, just for the continuity of the lore. But once I finally hit the top, it was a tiny bit more than 8,000 steps. Guys, my glutes. 8,000! My head canon is that I kept counting steps when I was in High Hrothgar, which, you know, didn't have many elevation changes, so if you subtract a few hundred steps, then we can still say that it took 7,000-ish steps to walk up the mountain in Skyrim, scaled down as accurately as possible on an inclined treadmill. And it took about an hour and a half. There you go. If you want to see how to set up the app I use for this, or want to see how I use this app combined with Steam input to control a speeder bike with motion controls in Star Wars Outlaws, check out these videos. Thanks for watching.